Hello, welcome to Cat McHale Art and Design. Today we are dipping cabochons. Instead of doing um, paint skins, I prefer to dip in the wet paint. I don't find my skins dry well um, and a lot of times are wrinkled depending on the surface and I don't always paint over a flat silicone mat. So here we go. Here's some round glass cabochons. I just use a popsicle stick and some, what do they call it? It's just a sticky putty. And I stick the cabochon on. And then you wanna make sure that the cabochon is clean from fingerprints and oils. So just a little alcohol spritz on a paper towel, just rub them off. The other side doesn't really matter because you're gonna clean that later. And then you pick a spot. And so, I liked this area, so I'm gonna dip it, and then I'm gonna pull it up sort of sideways. Sometimes you get a little tail on top, and sometimes the pattern on top is really pretty, but it's gonna be what's on the other side that shows. So now I'm gonna pick another spot with another round cabochon. And of course I can't make up my mind, so I'm like trying to redo the design or fix it, making sure that it fits my cabochon. I just like saying that word, I think, cabochon, cabochon. Anyway, so um, that's probably the hardest part is picking the area. Because if you manipulate the paint too much, then you lose some of what you wanted to begin with. And then sometimes what you like isn't quite sized right so you can finagle it a little bit so now i'm going eeny meeny miny mo which area do i want to go and voila i finally decide you see how i let it go that way it's nice and in the paint pick it up a little sideways you get a little swirly tail but that will dry flat and you want to make sure they dry level um, so when I stick it on the blue sticky stuff, I just try to level it at that point. And then you can always scrape off some extra paint later, which you'll see me doing. All right, then I did another painting with different colors. So I decided to do another cabochon in these colors. And this time I chose a rectangle shaped cabochon. Have I said cabochon too many times? Who's gonna count how many times I say cabochon? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm examining this at this point. I'm not quite sure. Look at my hair getting ready to go in the paint. This is the beauty of doing a voiceover. Then you can see all the stupid stuff you did. I'm just flipping it around to get a better look at the area that I'm planning on dipping in to make sure. My table lights tend to leave a lot of glare, so I can't always see it properly, so you have to flip it around. Okay, so again, popsicle stick. The blue sticky stuff, which for the life of me, off the top of my head, I can't remember what it's called. Some of you might know. Somebody put it in the comments and let me know. So here I am. I'm going to dip it. And it's the same technique, no matter what shape. You sort of want to let it sit in the paint, and then you want to sort of pick it up to the side. And I am going to let these dry overnight, and um, we'll unstick them from the popsicle stick and see how they turned out. <clears throat> I do usually let them dry a couple of days before I glue them into their bezels. Um, but I can check them out the next day. So here we are, they are dry. And I'm just gonna pop it off the stick. Sticky stuff comes right off, doesn't leave any residue, and voila, there you have it. Here's the other pink one. This is the larger cabochon. And voila. Unfortunately, the camera does not do these things justice. 
you can see the in in okay in I'm forgetting the word I want to use. You get a better view of the patterns. <laughs> Intricacies. That's what I was thinking of, of the pattern in person. And there is the other colors. That one's got some shimmer. I really liked it. So then I usually just kind of check them out, see if I like them. If I don't, you can easily scrape the paint off at this point because they're not too dry or you can soak them in alcohol and scrape the paint off later so if you don't like what you see you can reuse your cabochon no problem so i'm gonna grab the bezels we've got a round metal one for the small it's a bronze color And I play with the direction of the pattern to see what's going to look best. And see, there you go. There's the edge. It's got a little overflow on the edge that will show up. Um, and you'll be able to see it if you don't scrape it off. So I just use the edge of my fingernail and go around and scratch it off. Easy as that. And again, you want to do that the next day, not three days later when it's hard as a rock. So there you go. The next one is going to be a wooden cabochon for the larger round. And again, I'm peeling off that extra paint on the sides. Probably could have feathered through this a little faster, but I'm going to make you watch it. But again, I just find this a simpler method than waiting for the skins to dry, hoping that they're flat, hoping that they dry well. This way, while the paint is fresh and bright and the patterns are not stretched or flattened, I just think you get better results. And then for the rectangle one, I have a silver rectangle bezel. And, oh no, I think all three of these came out pretty good. I just want to say thank you for watching today. Um, these jewelry pieces happen to be really popular, and I'm pleased um, to be able to make them for you. Remember, my work is for sale. You can contact me at acrylicsbycat at gmail.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell for notifications. Um, and like all social media, if you like what you see, hit the like button. A lot of people view and they forget to hit the like button. Hitting that button is important to people who are using social media to promote themselves and sell their art. So please make sure you do that. So like comment and share and comments are important because it helps us grow and learn um, it also boosts our ego when you like what we do so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you learned something I learned something from every artist that I watch that's how I've learned what I've been doing and I appreciate each and every one of those people so again like comment share Come back and see my videos again. I hope you have a glorious, happy day. See you next time.